Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to discuss one of the very important Excel function that you should know if you are a financial analyst or if you are working in the finance field. Today we are going to discuss about a formula that helps us in forecasting the future numbers. May it be the sales number, may it be the expense number or whatever it may be. Here is the sample data set using which we are going to learn how to use this forecast function in Excel and how to forecast the future numbers. We have year and sales number here for last 10 years and based on the historical data that we have, we are going to predict the future sales that is sales for 2022, 2022 and 2024. So how are we going to derive the future number using the forecast formula. Let's go ahead and type the formula is equal to forecast. When you type forecast multiple formulas are shown in the list depending upon the data model that you are using either the linear model or the exponential model or any other model select the best one that suits to your data model. For now we are going to use forecast.ets formula to forecast future sales numbers. Forecast.ets bracket then you should select target date which is 2022. In this case put comma. Now you have to select value. Values is nothing but the sales numbers that you have. Put comma. Now you should provide the timeline details as well. Let's select year data from 2012 till 2021 and the other fields that you see like seasonality data completion and aggregation are just optional no need to give them as a compulsory parameter close bracket hit enter here you have the forecasted number 126 is the forecasted number for 2022 let's fix the formula a bit we are freezing b2 and we are freezing a2 so that whenever we drag the formula the formula should give us the correct result so here are the forecasted numbers 2022 126 2023 136 2024 144 so now how can we see this in chart select everything go to data click on forecast sheet if you observe here forecast end is 2028 which means the forecast is already calculated for four more years than what we have on our list here. The Excel now is just thinking that 2022, 2023 and 2024 figures are the actual figures. They are not the forecasted figures. All right, let us delete them. Once again, let's select only till 2021. Go to forecast sheet. Now if you see, it is showing us till 2024. The middle line that you are seeing is your actual forecast and the upper one and lower one that are little thin lines they are nothing but your upper confidence bound and lower confidence. If you click options you can see forecast starts from 2021 confidence interval is 95%. To understand it very simply higher the confidence interval higher the accuracy. So since we have 95% of confidence level here the accuracy level of the predicted numbers is is also high in this case. Seasonality is automatically detected. That's what we have selected. Click create. Once you hit create, this is your forecast number. So that's how you can predict the number. Now if you observe the forecasted sales number, the Excel automatically uses forecast.ats formula only. So this will be your forecasted numbers for future. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video and learned how to use forecast function. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, Please hit the subscribe button so that you continue get such interesting topics to learn every week. Until my next video, happy learning.